Hey guys welcome back to another episode. In this video we will be going through our very simple yet profitable, trending indicator alternatives to the moving average. As usual, we'll have plenty of practical examples. The idea is to fully understand these wonderful trading indicators and to make the most out of it. If you want more videos more often please smash the like button, subscribe, and turn on the notifications bell so that you know exactly when new content is released. And, don't forget to share this video across your WhatsApp, Facebook accounts, or Twitter to show your support. A very important point before we start. Everything we discuss in this video can be used for currency trading, stock trading, and crypto, because price action stays relatively consistent across different assets, so we're going to go very in-depth in this video. The best trending indicator alternatives to the moving average. Ultimately each trader must decide which tools they will use, formulate a trading plan, and then stick to that plan. If you are still deciding which tools you want to use, these indicators may help you spot the trend a bit better. These trending indicators highlight the trend or current momentum. Here are the best three trending indicators you can use to isolate the trend when trading. Moving averages are a popular trending indicator, but these are some alternatives. As with everything in trading, it's how we use a tool, and not necessarily the tool itself. So check out these indicators, play around with them, and see if they help your trading. First, ATR Stops. The ATR Stops indicator is the best custom indicator that uses the average true range to calculate the volatility and provides the traders with the best possible trailing stop loss. The ATR stops is an indicator that places a line below the price when the price is rising or uptrend and places a line above the price when the price is falling or downtrend. How far the line is above or below the price is based on the average true range or ATR. Think of ATR as how much an asset moves on average per price bar. This Euro's United States dollar hourly chart has an ATR stops indicator on it. There are two main inputs for the ATR stops indicator, one is the period, and the second is the coefficient. The period is how many price bars are used to compute the ATR. As a basic guide, if you're longer term trading use a longer period. For shorter term trading use a shorter period, so the ATR adapts more quickly to changing market conditions. The coefficient is the number of ATRs above or below the price the indicator will appear. This example shows an ATR stop indicator using three periods and a 1.5 coefficient. As you can see here, during this time period, the ATR stops did a good job of picking out the trends. The indicator also kept the trader on the right side of the market during the rally and the ensuing decline. The ATR stops and price action is great for entry and exit signals. So, customize the indicator settings to the asset you are trading. There is no right or wrong but the chosen settings should provide you with insight into what the asset has done in the past and what it may do in the future. For other ways to use the ATR stops indicator, mainly as a more active trailing stop loss. In this video, I've included a template with the system that you can simply upload to your chart and it will automatically plot all these indicators perfectly on your charts so there's nothing for you to worry about. Get the download link on the description. And here are other examples of the ATR stops price action trading to fully understand this wonderful indicator and to make the most out of it.
second. Moving average envelopes for daily time frame. Moving average envelopes are a moving average plus a buffer on each side which highlight the price area a trend may move in. The envelopes are a specific percentage away from the moving average, this is called the deviation. Therefore, your primary inputs for the moving average envelopes are period, or the period of the moving average, and deviation, or how far the upper and lower bands are from the moving average, as a percentage. This example shows a daily Euros United States dollar chart. For this one, a 14 period moving average is applied. The upper, or blue line, and the lower, or red line, are envelopes which form a band around the moving average. The deviation is 0.1. The moving average envelopes for daily time frame are useful, but require a few guidelines. First, when the price is rising, and above the blue line, or the upper band, look for longs. Second, when the price is falling, and below the red line, or the lower band, look for shorts. I've included a template with this moving average envelopes for daily time frame trading system that you can simply upload to your chart. So, get the download link on the description. And here are other examples of the moving average envelopes for daily time frame trading to fully understand this wonderful indicator. Use multiple time frame analysis. The trade's chance of success improves when it is followed on a short-term chart because of the ability for a trader to avoid poor entry prices, ill-placed stops, and unreasonable targets. Third, the Turtle Donchian Channels. Turtle Channel systems are based on the method made famous by Richard Dennis in the Turtle Trader experiment of the 1980s. Turtle channels look very similar to the ATR stops. They will provide similar information much of the time, but they aren't the same. Turtle channels have a trading strategy built into them. They provide trade signals, as well as stop loss levels. This example shows a turtle channel system with a 10 trade period for the primary input for the red and blue lines on a Euro United States dollar chart. 10 periods shows the overall trend, not trade signals. If using the indicator for trade signals, a trade period of about 5 is used. In this case, the small dotted lines indicator is 5 period turtle channels. On the other hand, these small dotted lines mainly is a trailing stop loss. While the red and blue lines indicate the overall trend, the stop loss line indicates when a pullback against a trend may be starting. For example, when the price break below the red line, it indicates the price start falling or downtrend. Look for short signals between the red line and the small dotted line. On the other hand, use the small dotted lines as trailing stop. When the price break above the blue line, it indicates the price start rising or uptrend. Look for long signals between the blue line and the small dotted line. On the other hand, use the small dotted lines as trailing stop. And here are other examples of the Turtle Donchian channels trading to fully understand this wonderful custom indicator.
as with everything in trading, nothing works all the time. So check out these indicators, play around with them, and see if they help your trading. As always, if you learned something new, or if you want more videos more often, make sure you subscribe, click the notification bell, and share this video across your WhatsApp, Facebook accounts, or Twitter to show your support. See you next time.